Welcome back, Foxy Games UK new and existing subscribers. It is Saturday, October 12. I'm Fox, your reliable source of aggregated video game news, speculation, and rampant rumor. So, there I was thinking, what a slow, cold October Saturday I'm experiencing today, though in terms of new PlayStation 5 info, turns out it's anything but. I was literally not long at an event when I randomly checked my emails and what did I find? Well, let me just go ahead and lay it all out there for you. PlayStation 5 news has unexpectedly come in thick and fast, and I literally had to rush home through tra traffic to make this video very quickly. You can hear it's totally unscripted, but uh, Sony, Sony Interactive Entertainment, PlayStation is holding media event, a media event scheduled close to The Last of Us Part 2's PS4 February release date. That's the 21st of February 2020. Now, I don't have an exact date for the meeting, but what I do know is Sony will reveal around the time The Last of Us Part 2 launches, Sony will reveal PlayStation 5 details and features to the media only. And then PlayStation 5 will receive a second reveal, which will be public and uh, followed by a smaller final reveal later in the year. That's three reveals. Now, take this as a rumor, not because I don't trust my source. Take it as a rumor because schedules can change, dates can change. But this is what I'm getting right now. There's going to be three reveals. That's on top of the Wired software reveals that we've already had in April and fairly recently with Mark Cerny and Jim Ryan. So we're gonna have a media only event. So I take it that's the press where they're gonna go over details pretty much like they did with PS4, the initial one and the PS4 Pro, you know, show us that the, whatever the system can do in terms of uh, quality of life, feature set, whatever. And then the second reveal I take it is gonna be public. Now my guess is E3 or something public like that, hopefully a staged event. And then the final reveal, I take it's gonna be closer to the launch, which right now I'm thinking that final reveal could just be a state of play video. I don't know, it's me speculating, but this is the information I'm getting. So I'm also being told, obviously this news isn't particularly old, so it's a refresher, but I was told this a long time ago in terms of uh, Share Factory, if you're into Share Factory making videos on your PS4, then PS5 is going to have a far more sophisticated version of Share Factory, the editing suite. 4K video rendering at 30 frames per second, 1440p at 60, 1080p at whatever. I don't know about 1080p, sky's the limit, I guess. So, yeah, that's what we've got, people. It's baffling, absolutely baffling i didn't expect any of this on a saturday i did not even expect to make a video today you know but shit happens excuse my french so on top of that sony i mean i mentioned some of this already but i might the video will be far too short if i leave it there but sony also developing a wireless playstation vr unit uh, it's going to have a htc vive style wired controller with haptic feedback and uh, PlayStation VR 2.0 integrated at silicon level. I tweeted this out as well. And there'll be no breakout box, no more unsightly wires, a much more lighter VR head unit if you found the original too heavy or too sweaty or whatever. Now, Sony could also include a PS5 demo disc. Now, that hasn't happened in years. A demo disc which will be bundled in with PlayStation 5 units, limited, a limited uh, bundle. Uh, to demonstrate new features, the system's capabilities. There might be a tutorial on there, I don't know. And a few game demos. I think the reason why they might include a disc is because we're moving into a new format of Blu-ray and it's quite a big deal to Sony. So they might show you, you know, clips of their movies on this disc. And the only way to really show you how it runs is to offer you a demo disc. You can't really, digital won't do it. You'll have to see how it runs off a disc because that's what you'll be playing on the Ultra 4K Blu-ray player that will be featured in the PS5. So this is the only thing I can gather. That's why they may include the demo disc. But yeah, games, feature set on there, whatever, you know, let you know how to get around the system. Now, the thing with demo discs is Sony hasn't really included demo discs in decades. Really popular during the PS1 and PS2 era when the internet was in its infancy and magazines, print media really ruled uh, the roost when it came to offering information to the masses. So that's that. 
Excuse the, the traffic out here. I live near an airport and it's just annoying. But um, yeah, that's how it is. So yeah. What can I tell you? I think there's more. But I'm all over the place with this. Bear with me. Yes, and Sony are also getting... Sony are going big on live streaming functionality next gen with PS5 because it's set to feature a built-in easy to use streaming tool in order to compete with Xbox, the Mixer streaming platform. Sony Interactive Entertainment will offer users templates, the, the use of a green screen, obviously you supply your own green screen uh, I would imagine, but the, the functionality will be there. Background artwork and footage and royalty free music all being taken care of or developed by an unknown third party obviously not unknown to sony but unknown to me but uh, uh, that's a tba uh, to be announced on that one i take it sony will probably reveal that in more details ign are also reporting that sony is going to market the playstation 5 as an 8k console but apparently uh something to do with the hdmi setup that is capable of displaying on hd 8k H, uh, ultra hd tvs and apparently there will be checkerboarding in play for some titles up to 8k i don't know when if it's going to be at launch or later on in the console's life cycle but that's what ign are reporting that sony may position this in terms of marketing and promotion as an 8k console i'm not sure how i feel about that because it's slightly misleading but there you go you know if microsoft may do it so i guess they don't want to obviously one have one up over the other i guess but yeah, and also some news about the former PlayStation chairman of Sony Worldwide Studios, Sean Layden. Uh, apparently, there was a bit of infighting. Apparently, this is alleged, but uh, apparently Sean Layden wasn't 100% behind crossplay and game streaming uh, for PlayStation Now and crossplay on the PlayStation 4 and PS5 going forward. However, the Sony Interactive CEO Jim Ryan apparently was and had different ideas. So Jim Ryan has been relocated to the US to oversee all of Sony Interactive Entertainment regions. So centralization is real. Um, so yeah, it looks like 2020 will be a phenomenal year. It, uh, actually, Neil Druckmann of Naughty Dog tweeted in one of his uh, The Last of Us uh, Part 2 uh, promotional tweets. He said that uh, 2020 is going to be an amazing year, hashtag PS5. And that was within one of his own The Last of Us Part 2 tweets. So it kind of makes sense now to me and adds even more credence to what I've been told, uh, which I trust the information I'm getting, by the way. Trust it implicitly. But it kind of makes sense now that uh, Sony will reveal the PS5, at least the first stage of reveal, around The Last of Us Part 2's release date because there's a lot of momentum there. People are going to be hyped for The Last of Us Part 2. They may even show off what The Last of Us Part 2 looks like running on the PS5 in the first reveal. You probably won't see the console. You probably won't see form factor. You're probably just gonna see maybe a mock-up of the new DualShock 5, some features. They'll talk about the SSD. Like, you know, Mark Cerny did initially with PS4. They didn't show the console until the second reveal, but I'm surprised there's gonna be a third reveal. Maybe it's just, you know, a primer for the launch you know they're just going to recap everything in a state of play video maybe that's a smaller third reveal either way that's what i'm getting there'll be three reveals two significant reveals one minor which i'm saying state of play for the third final reveal and that will probably happen maybe in october early november because uh you know if i was the hazard i guess if i was a betting man i would say sony playstation 5 is dropping november 22nd 2020 now obviously don't hold me to that because it's not official it's just me just me and my speculation oh, this is exciting isn't it people really exciting you know I'm, I'm really tired as well i really didn't want to make a video today i'm not kidding you i didn't want to make a video i wanted to spend the day chilling i was at an event as i say and i've just rushed home through traffic to do this because, you know, I'm dedicated and I want to get that news out there. And uh, I was a bit worried as well that I foolishly tweeted everything before making a video. So I wasn't sure if someone was going to beat me to the punch. Maybe someone I know, Ryan, or someone else, you know, Mads, beat me to the punch. Uh, so I was also tempted to tweet on the way home while I was in traffic. I wanted to tweet 
oh, I could be, you know, baiting everyone. So let's see who puts out a video first to prevent people from putting a video out. I didn't want to, I didn't want to cry wolf, you know, be the boy that cries wolf. That might backfire. So it's already difficult to be taken seriously out in, the, in these YouTube streets as it is. You know, I have my doubters as it is. So I don't want to play that game. But yeah, this is where we're at, people. PS5, it is hyping up. Sorry, I can't give you an exact date because I wasn't provided an exact date. I'm sure the person who knows me told who, who told me knows the exact date, but they're not telling me that information now. Maybe that's just a, a bit too close to that NDA agreement, the non-disclosure agreement and breaking it. Maybe it's just too obvious. Uh, maybe very few people know, but uh, yeah, it's going to be close very close going to be very close to the last of us part two's release date so either on or before it could be uh, i'm sure it's in february but maybe early march maybe late january but it's going to be around the last of us part two's release date and i'm super super hyped i'm sure you can hear my voice i am massively tired but anyway i'm going to stop babbling on now i'm not sure there's anything more i can share with you this is all jotted down uh, on notes and stuff from an email because obviously once I got the email you know I had to call him <laughs> so uh, so I jotted some stuff down while on the phone as well and I'm doing this for you guys anyway much love much love to everybody I gotta get out of here make like a banana and uh, split I gotta get back out there to the event um, probably wondering where I am but uh, some things you just have to go home and do you know and this is really important. But anyway, what say you? Go ahead, sound off, share your thoughts and opinions on today's video because that unfortunately brings us to the end of yet another video. But let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments. I'll join you in the video discussion hours later. Should be interesting because I've got to rush out after uploading this. But for all your current and next gen news updates, rumor and rampant speculation, hit the like button, spread the word and keep it locked to Foxy Games UK. Subscribe to Foxy Games UK, remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss content. Thumbs up if you like it here and help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing the video. Consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon and or grab yourself, I'm so excited, and or grab yourself a Foxy Games UK branded t-shirt or hoodie available in various colours and designs. I will get this out. You'll find both links in the video's description. You'll catch me tomorrow on the Gamer Couch podcast where I'll go into even more detail for the podcast. And that'll be 5 p.m. Uh, ET and uh, 10 p.m. UK. Well, that ends the video. That concludes our time together today. Great hanging out. Thank you very much for your attention. Until the next video, remember, play games, not corporations. Mm -hmm.